G'day Exiles, how are we doing? Um, this has been quite a long time since I've jumped into this game. Um, I haven't posted for quite a long time. It's been, last time I checked, about five months. And yeah, I felt like it was sort of time that I should have done this. Um, to be honest, I should have done this a very, very long time ago. Um, and the reason why that I'm posting the video, well, I never actually made this type of, well, this part of the video I intended to do back when I should have. And that is to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I had abandoned the game myself. I'd left the game without saying why and giving you any sort of reasonings behind this. And look, a lot of this we can understand why that I hadn't posted or the, the lack of posting in the lead up to me not posting at all. And look, I haven't owned up to it. And because there's been so many other lot of things that have been happening with my channel, everything else in between, other games that have been popping up, and my attention started to go elsewhere. And a lot of it had to do with the lack of updates. Um, first and foremost, the, the lack of updates that we had received in the game had been very minimal. And I did do a quick check in the last time when this had actually been activated, oh sorry, when this game had been updated. And the last time this game had been updated was content-wise, about June, July, last year, 2019. The last time that the uh, Google Play Store has notarized an update to this game was September 4th, 2019. So by that, there, there's been very, very little to do, very little things to talk about with the game, um, very little content that I could produce and show off in the game. So this was the reason why I had stopped playing. Um, to that as well, to add to this, I had at the point of this, um, oh, sorry, at the, up until now, there's been over 130 videos that I've posted for this game over nearly the span of two years of playing this game. And after playing for that amount of time and investing a lot of time and effort into a game with no updates, there's there would have to be a point where I would have to say, what, do I, what am I doing? Is there anything else that I can do for this game or can I progress further in this game than what I have already have had so done at the moment? I didn't think so at the time. So I literally t made a call and I just simply stopped pl um, playing. And it was getting to the point for me that I was over investing in a game that I couldn't play anymore that I should have probably should have slowed down a, a lot a lot sooner and probably would have um, should have made a video such as this a lot sooner and it's hard because you, you generate a following you generate a platform where people can come play this game and only because you have um, you know you have pretty much um, made this uh, made a channel based off a particular game, which was this game for me. So I started this game when this game literally started. There may have been maybe one or two very minor um, updates to start off this game, and yeah, it pretty much you know I pretty much took off from thereafter. And I made you know a lot of friends, got to know a lot of people within the game as well. A lot of the the moderator team at the time. Um, a couple of the developers I started to um, interact with, uh, the community uh, community manager at the time, Ranger Muir. I don't know if you still watch or play, or if you're involved in the game in any way, shape, or form. We we've had a lot of a lot of chats, a lot of talks, a lot of getting to uh, to know each other uh, throughout the time that you know this game was at the time at its peak. It was really doing well. It was a survival game, yes but it was a very different survival game. It was a survival game where it was there to break the mold of current survival games and the, the development, the timeline and everything else in between was all there set to have this game um, transcend it to a different level to what other 
survival games had or already done. And granted at that time there was a lot of other games still in development and still trying different things and everything else in between. So we could understand now at this point in time, you know, a, a lot of um, other survival games have either done something similar, something different, something that would make it separate, um, separate itself from the pack so to speak and I felt like at the time this game was going to do just that way back then and now that we haven't had a lot of updates or no updates it's caused a lot of issues amongst players people everyone else that used to or maybe still do play this game to uh, to this day so and this is sort of where I sort of wanted to have a bit of a chat about that today and want to address the reason why I haven't been around um, don't get me wrong, I still love this game. This game will always hold, um, you know, a, a little place in my heart, basically. And the fact that it hasn't been updated, there's been no love to it, it hurts. You know, and it hurts not being able to play this game because there's literally nothing for me uh, to do without having to do it over and over again. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. I do enjoy playing the game, but... As a as a creator, you need to you need to look at other things as well. You need to work what uh, work out what's best for not only not only yourself but the channel and where it's progressing. And you really don't want to fall behind. So that's where a lot of these decision making sort of came into play, where I had to you know make a call, and that call I made it. So this is where I decided to go down other avenues. I played other games. Um, I've had some, some quite a number of successes in other games and it's been great. I've been really enjoying it, but I've always wanted to have um, time to come back to this game when the game was properly being looked after, updated and everything else in between. So it's, it's, very, it's very sad and I'm not really happy the fact that the game hasn't had updates. I can understand there's a lot of development, there's a lot, there's a lot of um, financial situations potentially behind the scenes that we may not be aware of, um, but where there's no success, there's always going to be other successes in other places, and then what I mean by that is, and this is sort of kind of became apparent around the time of when the PvP update came and landed, was the emergence of another game that the developer Plarium had been creating at the time and still is a very extremely popular game to date and that is um, Raid Shadow Legends. Um, that's been a heavily popular game to the point where it nearly took out the most popular game in Google Play of last year because it was that popular. Comparing that to a game like this um, that wasn't getting any sort of attention or in this case an update that hadn't worked out, fair to say, for a lot of people. And this is where the the feedback, the negativity of the game came into play. And I personally think that the developers literally switched off from it. They didn't want to deal with it. They didn't want to um, try and fix it at the time by the sounds of things. Um, I had a discussion with um, with someone well in, within the game. Uh, I'm not going to say if it was a developer, a moderator, or anything of that nature, because I'm not going to be here to naming names whatsoever. But um, the the game board, I, um, from what I understand, um, they didn't expect this type of negativity towards and one single update that came out, and it contributed to a lot of other things as well um, and a lot of people weren't really happy about it at the time and it put them into into a bit of a chaos spin where they they didn't know what to do with the update they didn't know how they wanted to attack it how they wanted to address it and there was talks and discussions that took place that they were going to look at the possibility of reworking the entire pvp system because the bad reception that it received was significant and whether or not this had taken a toll on the game which it had in my opinion but to the point where developers were shifted and reallocated into other areas for gaming development like 
raid. I reckon that could have been the biggest possibility that could have happened. And this is probably where we found that, um, you know, we've seen a, a, a very massive, a, a large decline in this game. There is still a, a good community out there that is still playing this game to this day. And it is still playing, um, people are still playing this and they're still wanting updates. People are still passionate about this game. I am passionate too. Unfortunately, I cannot play this game anymore until new content is released, a newer update has been given. And we have been asking as a content community on the Discord to find out when and where this would, you know, this um, this turn of events would change. Will we get new updates? What's happening? Is there a development? Is there a timeline? Has there been anything that's been given to us that we can that we can at least advise you guys to say, hey, sit tight, there's something coming. Um, there's been nothing. And only only up until recently, there has been a, a recent post on the development page and, well, sorry, on the content creator um, page, I should say, through, uh, through Saga. And I've just brought it up in front of me, so I, I do want to read this out because I feel like a lot of this should be let out and read and only because that there's been there's no insight or there's no um there's no given time frame as to when we will get updates to this game so let's talk about it so basically one of our content creators had um posted something and it took when did it take well that was actually was actually responded on the same day so okay I give I, I give these people this for that response on the same same day and this was March 15th but prior to that we had asked multiple times and this was spanning into last year up until March before we actually received something from someone and this was from a moderator I'm not going to explain the, uh, provide the person's name so again this is all this is all um, to protect that person and all, all that sort of good stuff. So basically, okay, so there's been 10, so the question was, the plea was, there's been nearly 10 months worth of non-development, non-gaming created development. There's been bug fixes around 10 months. Um, can we be honest and say that the, that the game is on a hiatus and there's no actual contact coming? What's, what's happening basically. I'm not gonna use the exact, I didn't use the exact same um, uh, wording or anything like that again, but this part I'm gonna read word for word. All right, so let me just park myself over here to the corner and I may as well quickly drink up and I'll have some food at the same time while we heal. So thank you for asking at the moment um, you have not had a reply because there was and still nothing to pass on to you at this time. There is no update on an update or a pending update or the nature of what the development team is working on then other than bug fixes. They will not mention which bugs will be fixed as that causes more issues with the pirated versions of this game creating more issues than originally thought. I'm sorry that this is the only answer I can give you at this time. It may not be the answer that you want. However, it is the answer you have received at this time. When they are able to and their time, sorry, when they are able to and in their time and not ours, they will give you more information concerning the saga of survival game and gameplay. So that was straight from a moderator. I'm not going to explain, um, I'm not going to confirm who it was, so I'm going to leave that alone. But there you have it. And if you even go as far as look on the Facebook page, even through Discord, it's very similar. It's a similar scenario. They have, they don't know what they're working on. That there hasn't been any made or mention of any sort of updates. We don't know anything as much as what you guys don't know. So. I personally am really disappointed with that. Um, 
and particularly why is more that we don't know what's happening, what's around the corner. This suggests to say that there's nothing happening in the immediate future or in the, say, in the next couple of months. I would probably think that we're going to go a year without an update. I think that's going to be very possible um, because we're, we're basically there as it stands and there's really not much else to speak about. Um, so unfortunately with that being said, there's really no, nothing else that we can say or do that's going to change the minds of you know, the development team or what, what could be changed in the game. It would, it would be really nice if we actually had a developer come out and actually talk to us and maybe possibly give us some reason why as to why the game has not received any updates or what they're focusing on, but they won't. So um, the only way that I feel like a developer will come out and say something is only when they actually have something in place. So when they're when they're actually working on the game, there's going to be something that might happen. It might be in the next few months, it might not be, but that'll be the only time I feel that someone from the game, um, development-wise, possibly a community manager maybe, that will come back and say this and this is what's happening. So right now, we, we're in limbo and it's, it's a really bad situation to be in, especially when you've got a bit of a cult following in this game where a lot of people really still enjoy playing this game. New people are finding this game and wanting to play this game. Um, and that's great for them because they can completely play the game up until say where I'm up to level 74 and the accomplishments that you can make in the game will take some time to happen, but there will be a ceiling. And once you've hit that ceiling, there's really not much else to do until there's going to be new updates, new things for us to do. Of course, there are things that I can do personally wise. Um, so even, you know, to increase my game stage, I can keep continue going and unlocking other things in the game, which at the moment, there's really not much else for me to unlock. The only thing that I'll be interested in is getting to level 90 so I can actually craft the greater satchel, but um, I'm not going to grind for that amount of time without any other updates coming through. So... I mean, I could get to level 76 and, and have the ability to create Ash Wands. That might be the only other thing I'd be looking forward to. But from thereafter, it's going to be a massive grind for me to do that. There are ways for me to increase my XP. I know what those are. Um, but I think a lot to take from here is that right now that we don't really have anything to provide. Um, one thing that was touched on was pirated versions of this game. Yes, I, I would agree that would that would make um, further issues, making um, the ability to have a game that's pirated to try and uh, stop and prevent that from happening with updates and things like that. They could have been easily managed, and I feel like because that this was this game hasn't been managed quite um, regularly, is that where pirated games have become more rampant and it's gotten to the point where we have no um there's real it's really harder for the developers to squash out pirated games or bugs or things like that and to their point making new content so yeah that's pretty much it i mean if what i would like to see is i'd like to see the development come developers come out and talk to us I think that would put a lot of people's minds at ease for this game and I would hope that would um, ensure that the game is still going, there's something might, that might be coming and we may see a new update. Maybe, maybe they are working on something that we don't know, maybe they're completely redoing the whole game as we know it under the new engine, who knows. Um, the game might be completely different to what we have now. Um, we might be lucky to secure what we have here at the moment and the game might be completely redone. Um, who knows? But look, I appreciate you guys if you have stopped by checking out this video. Um, again, I am sorry for not posting and updating anything or playing anything, playing with my clan and things like that. Um, it was, a, it was a time for me that I had to move on and play other games. I will play this game if and when another update comes and if it's worthy of us playing and giving 
providing more content for this game. But for now, I think we're going to have to shelve this officially. It was shelved a while back, but this is official and I'm on the record to say that. So um, for now, I'm going to have to put this on hold until another update pops, pops around. And if not, it is what it is. But I've enjoyed my time playing this game up until now. Um, in all the in all the time that I was playing this game, it was fantastic. I had never played a mobile game as much as I did as this. So that says a lot. But anyway, I'm going to close this here today. So I appreciate you guys watching, stopping by. Um, do all the usuals, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of jazz. Hit the notification bell, share the video if you can. I will be posting this in the Discord server within the game as well. So at least you guys will hopefully be able to take a look at it. And yeah, um, until next time.